Remax won't be missed. Let's get this video going. She saw the Mighty Max leave. And then, so uh, apparently there was a fiasco. Paul's dad got some free LEDs, which actually fit in the putt putt, which is my work truck. So we're gonna put some hella LEDs in there. It should be a lot brighter because these fuckers really suck and I don't have high beams, so it should be hopefully a lot nicer. But uh, yeah, and actually I think these are like brand new too because we had one burn out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. Let's work on a Ford Transit. That sounds like a blast. This is the real race car, so let's change them out. I uh, should probably let's let's start it up and we'll uh, do a little comparison. Do a little comparison in the daylight. Yeah. Got to really hear the ponies. Woo! Look out, world! Ah, they're on. So yeah, let me flip this room. So there they are. And now let's, we'll do this one and then we'll start it again and then we'll check compare. I think I screwed you. I don't remember if I filmed uh, the difference. So if I didn't, well, here's the difference, but you don't get to see them side by side. So they, they bright. So, but uh, yeah, as that, on to the next thing. And just finished doing uh, a brake job on this Kia. What is it? A real? Spectra on the Kia Spectro. So that's done. All right. So I figured finish out this video, give you guys a quick update. This is where the Fero is sitting and where the Conquest is sitting. Um, so this is how the Fero is sitting right now. Uh, I got the sides both off. I just made them. So there's one over there. There's one right here. I didn't record any of that, but I made them just because who cares? You guys just probably don't want to see it. So I still need to mount them up. So that's to come. I got to also make them match a little bit better. Um, so there's that. Um, yeah. I mean, you guys seen the video on putting the exhaust. Um, I got to figure out where I want to dump the exhaust. Still not 100% sure. I can come out the side of the bumper right here. That's probably the easiest one. Um, it's either that or I can go uh, down and then come out inside of this thing. Um, and then as for the wastegates, um, I did want to run them out the taillights in between the halos. That's probably not going to happen this year. It isn't going to happen this year. Uh, we're going to rock it as is this year. And then next year, if we feel like it, we can do it. Um, I just don't want to risk fucking up these taillights, the lenses per se. So, but so basically I'm probably just going to run the wastegates just straight up, do a cheap wastegate setup for this, this year. Excuse me, my bad. Um, yeah. And obviously, so I still got to do a little bit more exhaust wrapping. Um, and then this should be good. Um, I got the mesh in for uh, this guy to go up in here. I need to make uh, like a border, a border basically, and fiberglass that in. And then I'll have something to adhere this to. Just because it's a lot more see-through than I was expecting. So we don't I, I don't want them to be able to see up in there. Um, it'll be all black, but I just don't want it to be seen up in there. And then as for Paul, I believe so brakes done, clutch is done. Um, pretty much now we're just trying to get the motor stuff done. Once the motor stuff's done, then we get to put the motor back in. I believe trans can go back in. Pretty much the whole drivetrain can go back in. And then we get to start the wiring. Um, and then after wiring, we got like put in a passenger seat, uh, put build the rear wing set up. Um, yeah. So there's lots of little things we got to do. So, but uh, yeah. So that's the, the little update on uh, what's going on. Um, like I said, oh, and then, I mean, okay, so if you guys do want decals, um, just uh, hopefully I remember to put it in the thing. I think I had to update it and put it in the description. But you can just uh, email me at garagelessmerch at gmail.com. Um, it should be in the thing. Um, I'd say I could put it on the screen, but I won't fucking remember. So, 
All right, so now we're going to cry a little, I think. Yeah, a lot. Don't, Probably a lot. Don't joke um, about it. So we got to drill some holes in Paul's head. That one. His, his <laughs> this one, this head. <laughs> no, uh, I'll flip the camera around. I'll explain. All right, so basically, just let me throw this on the ground. Is it this hole? Or is it these? No, Not these ones. Are we going to make a hole? Yeah, we're making a hole. What? That's why I'm doing this. I'm making a template. This is the old ah. one. And we're just going to plop that on there. Boop. All right, so we got to drill a hole on this side. Drill a hole here. We also got a, well, there's already a hole here, but don't we have to make this one bigger then? Yeah. Oh, probably like that size, huh? Uh, It's going to be three-eighths. All right, that's how big it's going to be. We're going to drill yeah, three-eighths hole be, here. And probably here. that size. Yeah, so probably shoot for like these. It's weird that these ones are like that, and that's It'll not be... a big deal. Yeah, it's as big as the block is, because those holes are bigger for these back ones. But, uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Drill a hole here, drill a hole there, and we should be good to go. Yep. Drill, and... Nope, and we got to drill a hole in the new head gasket. This is the old one. Yep, this is using that one for template purposes. And we got to drill two holes in that, so that'll be fun. And throw it all together. Yep. So that's the plan. Let's make that happen. Let's drill some holes in our head. All right, here it goes. Just kidding, it's the worst bit ever. Gotcha, tricked you, fooled you. Yeah, this bit's garbage. JK, we'll be yeah, back. We'll be back when we got a real bit. All right, here we go. That's again. That's better. Too easy. First hole. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So there it is. That's you it. Can't That's even see it. It's there all you done. go. Yep. Now it'll breathe. <laughs> so I actually, I like stuck my finger up in here, and it's actually like, obviously, we're drilling into a port in here, which connects to the coolant. Um, so the whole point of this is so that way it doesn't create steam, like it'll trap air and shit in there, and then you get a bad bad day. It'll make this cylinder run hotter, and that hotter cylinder is not good that could cause detonation so all right i'll come back when we actually got this drilled out big boy so let's do that all right well there they are actually went pretty well a lot of this stuff's been pretty well it's just scarier than we, scary. we care for yeah like drilling the hole in the block that was easy tapping it was easy drilling the holes in the head was pretty easy you gotta be careful on this side um we don't think it goes in anything, but when the drill bit goes in, it makes contact with like the thing in there. But it flows straight down into here, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so now the next step is we got to do, we basically got to drill these holes in the new head gasket. So let's uh, do that. Cardboard sheet. So, okay, so we got these. And then, so this is the new gasket. We're going to drill this one out to three eighths, which is what these holes are. And then I pretty much just took a piece of cardboard and pressed real hard. And then it left a, a ring. And then we just drilled it out with the step up bit. Worked like a charm because now we know what the distance is between. And then we'll be able to figure out the depth and all that stuff after. But yeah, so now we're going to drill that out because we just got to get things lined up. So let's do that. All right. Well, now we're drilling a hole. Drill a hole. We need two hands, sir. Nope. Drill a hole. Two hands on the wheel. Drill. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, we got it done. And they're uh, reasonably close, so should be a good time. So now next step will be to just kind of clean up some stuff and then put it on. Whether we torque it on or not, that's a different story, but we can at least set it all on there. But yeah, so let's do that. All right, well, we broke all these loose, and now they're hand tight, all snugged up by hand. Thank you. That's what hand tight means. And, uh, <laughs> yep, by the hand of... Now, now we put her on. Take our sweet time getting out of Paul's way, because it's super light and easy to manipulate in there. Make sure you just grab it by the cam sensor. <laughs> it's also known as a handle. I don't know if you know this, about 4G6 series. Ah, oh, crap! I forgot to put the washers on. They go on top. They go on 
before you put them in the holes or else you can't get them in there. You can't get these on with the studs in there for like eight of them. I hate this car. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now we got to put the washers on and then we can put the nuts on and then... You got to take the head off, put the washers on. I don't think you have to take it off. You just got to raise it up high enough. Yeah, so, so taking it off. And lifting it up. It so off. one might say you have to lift it up and then slide it in. Taking it off would be completely removing it separately. But uh, yeah, so let's do that. All right, so we had to lift it. We took it off. Okay. <laughs> well, lifting it didn't work. Paul obviously doesn't eat Wheaties, so he couldn't handle lifting 60 pounds for two minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so we got the washers are in there now. Now we got to put these nuts on it and then... Uh, we probably need ARP or the liquid. ARP fluid. And then, uh, yeah, probably should have done that when it was off. I mean, lifted. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's uh, get these nuts on there. Well, it's not torqued down. They're snugged up. And then this is just sitting on top of it just so shit don't get down in there. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're done. That's where we're at. Because I'm... Don't feel like doing this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know how long this video was, but it probably wasn't very long. But you know the drill, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.